Now, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So besides my horror on this whole thing with the gymnastics industry where you try to become the best in the world and they sell their kids to these people who partner with perverts that sexually abuse these kids while they're away from their parents trying to do their gymnastics thing and, and it ruins their bodies. I mean, I don't know what age they start doing this thing, but it's very intense, the point that it stunts their growth for life and it really it really I think hurts them because they're trying to become the best in the entire world and all this with the Olympics thing it's just overkill and all the pressure and stuff I think it's just totally wrong I think it really is it's modernism it's against all things and I you know I've seen it in the music industry not to the same extent obviously as it would be in the athletic industry because athletic, they really do injure themselves so much. Where in music, you can't really... I mean, you can injure yourself, but, you know, you're not, like, jumping off a high beam or anything. Uh, you know, unless you're doing crazy stunt double-ish stuff on stage, which I guess some people do. But, but anyway, I'm saying in general, it's not as dangerous. Although, you know, things can happen on tour, tour, tour buses. I've seen that, where you can... You, can definitely see your life flash before your eyes or this you know people have fallen off stages actually I've seen uh, people or you know stages can collapse too so you know there are certain things but like I said you're not like literally jumping off high beams and doing crazy stuff like that uh, stunning your growth so to speak but but anyway, this other thing that, that got me was that, you know, these Catholics, they want to compliment each other for all this internet stuff. And, I mean, the internet stuff, it's really tiring. And I think a lot of us are going to be happy when a lot of these, uh, you know, self-made inter Catholic internet stars, so to speak, go out of fashion. And people start becoming the true church of God where no one is above anyone else. If you have gifts, great. But just use them to help others. I mean, why do you have to? Why do you have to like shove it in people's faces and take compliments? People saying how great you are, when you know you could have a messed up family life, you could have a messed up past, and all this, and trying to hide it and stuff. And they seem to think like they're little gods. They seem to think, say, well, who they can, who they can publish and who they can censor and stuff, and it's all Catholic, and that's not the Catholic Church either, so we have to be really, really careful online with these self-made Catholic movie stars, I'll call them, that try to get online all the time, and I can't wait for this stuff to come down, like I said, I'm doing it mostly for Asher, because I don't have a way to see him, and I want him to know that I do love him and care about him, and, uh, you know, playing violin is something I do, and maybe I can share with him. Maybe he would like to play violin, maybe he already does, or maybe he plays some music. I don't know, but it's just something to share. It's not something to shove in people's faces and to say, I'm better than you, or whatever. But, uh, you know, it makes me sick when I see this stuff online and, and people complimenting these self-made Catholic movie stars, I guess I'd say. No one is good except God, and if we're not working with the Virgin Mary as the body of Christ and becoming the least of them, like St. Michael here, who's on the bottom, if we're not willing to become in the bottom of the barrel Catholic, then we're no, a no-good Catholic.